Let us now see how to find out the HCF and LCM for fractional values. The LCM of fractions can be taken as LCM of numerators by the HCF of the denominators. That is, whenever we have to find out the LCM of fractions, we can take it as LCM of all the numerators divided by HCF of all the denominators. And similarly, HCF of fractions can be taken as HCF of all the numerators divided by LCM of all the denominators. So this is how whenever fractions are involved, the LCM and HCF can be calculated with the help of the following formulae. Let us take an example to understand this. Let's say we have to find out the LCM of the fractions 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 6 by 7 and 9 by 30. Now as discussed, LCM of fractions is nothing but LCM of the numerators. That is LCM of 1, 3, 6 and 9 divided by HCF of all the denominators. All the denominators here are 2, 4, 7 and 30. So to find out the answer, we need to take the LCM of 1, 3, 6 and 9 divided by the HCF of 2, 4, 7 and 30. Now as discussed earlier, whenever we are finding out LCM of some numbers, if there is a number which is a factor of some other number, it can be striked off and the calculation for that number is not required. So here if you look at that, 3 is a factor of 6 as well as 9. So 3 can be simply striked off as well as 1 can be striked off. Why? Because 1 is a factor for all the numbers. So the LCM of 6 and 9 will be equal to the LCM of 1, 3, 6 and 9. And LCM of 6 and 9 will be equal to 18 and that can be obtained by the proper calculation divided by HCF of 2, 4, 7 and 13 would be equal to 1. So we can say that the LCM of these fractions will be equal to 18. Similarly, if the HCF is required, it can be taken as HCF of all the numerators. So this is the LCM and the HCF can be taken as HCF of all the numerators 1, 3, 6 and 9 divided by LCM of all the denominators 2, 4, 7 and 13. So the HCF of the numerators 1, 3, 6 and 9 will be equal to 1. And the LCM of the denominators 2, 4, 7 and 13 can be taken as here anyway we can cancel 2 since it is a factor of 4. And the LCM for remaining numbers will be equal to 4 into 7 into 13. As the remaining numbers 7 and 13 are prime in nature, we can directly take the LCM as product of those numbers with 4. So 4 into 7 is 28 and 28 into 13 would be 364. So the HCF of the given fractions will be equal to 1 by 364. So this is how we can take up the LCM and HCF of fractions.